We're introduced to Honoka Takamiya. He is a pretty ordinary high school student but he has to deal with a lot of bullying. His life at school is totally boring when he isn't getting beat up by jerks. Honoka rides a bus every day to school with a girl called Ayaka Kakari. Unlike Honoka, Ayaka is really popular. One day, the school bullies conclude that Honoka is spending too much time with Ayaka, so they decide to torture him even more. Life is not going great for our boy Honoka and things are just gonna get even worse. The following day, Honoka is living his best life when suddenly he gets attacked by weird rabbit creatures. Honoka has no idea what's happening, but he knows he is in danger. Just in the last second, Honoka gets saved by a magical fire blast, he then realizes there's a powerful witch who saved him. It's revealed that this witch is actually Ayaka, his classmate. Honoka is now in a total panic, and things are just getting started. He suddenly enters a classroom and there, Ayaka is using her magic to torture evil witches. These witches want Honoka for some reason. The leader of the evil witch group is Tanapop. Soon after, he gets kidnapped by a transfer student who is actually a witch. Ayaka manages to use her magic once again and save Honoka from certain death. Honoka wants some answers, so Ayaka agrees to explain everything. They go around town and she reveals that there is an ancient war going on between Workshop and Tower Witches. Soon after that, Honoka meets Kazane Kagari, the chairwoman at school and also the leader of Workshop Witches, and yes, she is Ayaka's mother. Honoka once again gets attacked by Tanoka and his followers. After that, he begins his training with Ayaka. It's revealed that Tanoka also has magic powers, he just has no idea how to use them. Honoka starts training with a flying broomstick and also learns a spell to turn invisible. Honoka loves flying on the magic broom and he explores the city. Soon he saves a little girl who is getting bullied. Honoka is still clumsy, so Ayaka has to save him again. While riding the boss, Honoka and Ayaka get attacked by a tower which called Krono Schwartz 6, try saying that name fast. Krono uses her magic spell to attack both of them. Ayaka gets badly injured and Krono offers Honoka a magical candy. Ayaka manages to find her strength and forces Krono to run away. We are introduced to Medusa, a very scary tower which, soon she's going to break out of her prison. In the meantime, we meet Honoka's sister Kasumi Takamiya. She is really jealous that her brother is hanging out with Ayaka. Tanpopo plans to kidnap Honoka once more, but his plan is ruined by Kasumi. Kasumi uses her magic to fight Tanpopo's rabbit armies. Kasumi loses control of a bear who destroys a big part of town. Ayaka has to get involved and she defeats a bunch of tower witches. After that she promises to keep Honoka safe at all times. Honoka moves in with Ayaka, as he will be much safer with her. His sister Kasumi hates that, but his mother Komachi accepts it. Honoka is really surprised to see that Ayaka lives in a pretty big mansion. He loves his new home, but this all gets ruined when Medusa finally arrives to attack them both. Ayaka tries to fight, but Medusa is too strong. Ayaka is turned to stone and her knocker is in trouble. He then eats the candy that Chrome gave to him, and because of that Honoka summons Evermillion, the White Princess. Medusa destroys the mansion in school, but has to run away from Evermillion. Kazano announces that all tower witches must be hunted down. Evermillion tells Honoka that he must kiss Ayaka to turn her back to normal. Honoka does this, and Ayaka is back to her old self. She then uses her magic to defeat Medusa. Back at school, Honoka gets separated from Ayaka by the teacher. The teacher explains to Honoka that because he ate the candy, the magic seal has been broken. Kazano will have to get rid of Honoka if he reveals that to anyone. The teacher explains to Honoka that because he ate the candy, the magic seal has been broken. Kazano will have to get rid of Honoka if he reveals that to anyone. Hayaka decides to make Honoka the new president of the student council after school ends. Ayaka gets targeted by Kasumi. Honoka is then taken once again. Hayaka manages to wake up from the tranquilizer and goes after them. 
Aka then summons a dragon and takes down Kasumi. Kasumi is kind of insane. It's revealed that Ayaka has trapped Medusa and other evil witches at Hanukkah's house without anyone knowing. Tanpopo tries to kidnap Tanoka for the hundredth time but fails once more. Kotetsu and Mei soon capture him because he is so stupid. In the meantime, Aka teams up with the Tower Witches to protect Honoka. In a shocking twist, Aka actually merges with Medusa to get a power boost. Kazane attacks Fanoka brutally. Aka tries to fight Kazane but loses. Both Ayaka and Honoka are imprisoned. Hayaka uses some of Honoki's leftover power to break them out. Hayaka wants to fight her mother, Kazane, but she refuses to fight anymore. Honoka has a strange dream where he experiences Ayaka's childhood. It seems that she was really socially anxious and had no friends. Her mother used witches to help raise her. She also had no real friends until she met Honoka in the real world. Honoka has to get used to his new job as a student council president. The other members of the council do not accept him at all. The previous president told a bunch of lies about Tanoka to the school delinquent, Rinan. Rinan decides to make Honoka's sofa. Rinan uses her gang members to mess up the entire school. Rinan also challenges Honoka to a duel. Aka tries to step in and help but decides to use a different tactic. The day of the duel arrives and Ayaka uses her powers to help Honoka cheat. In a twist, it's revealed that Ayaka actually manipulated Rinan so that Tanoka would become more popular after their duel. Honoka now has to learn how to summon a familiar to increase his attack power. Ayaka throws Honoka off the building in hopes that deactivating his power. Honoka panics and summons a giant version of Ayaka in a really nurse outfit. Ayaka is embarrassed beyond belief. While that is happening, Kazani uncovers a giant weapon under the city. The tower which called Weekend and Kazane meet up. Kazane tries to reason with Weekend, but she just uses the weapon. Kazane uses all her magic to protect the city. Honoka and Ayaka are protected by the other workshop witches. Weekend creates a powerful puppet that finds them. Ayaka and Honoka are now in trouble because they have no magic to use. Ayaka and Honoka realize that the city has been destroyed. Kazane no longer has her powers, and for that reason, the rest of the workshop witches cannot use their magic. Weekend then captures some of them and puts weapons on them. Weekend wants Honoka to be surrendered to her, or else everything goes boom. Ayaka keeps Honoka safe, and they go into the deep tunnels of the city. They try to unlock Honoka's powers, and finally, they are successful. Weekend soon gets captured by the other workshop witches. Weekend then reveals that this is all part of her plan to destroy the workshop witch clan from their base of operations. She activates the weapons and captures many witches. Honoka then uses his new powers to heal the witches. He uses a lot of power, so Ayaka has to stop him before he gets defeated. Honoka can barely stand, and Ayaka puts him to bed so that he can rest up. Honoka then has visions where he can see Kazane and her memories. Mikaje, the teacher from the academy, informs everyone that they are now in a different reality. This reality was created when Honoka formed his magic contract and gained powers. All the people of the town are in suspended animation until they are saved. Honoka is attacked by Weekend's minions. In the meantime, Aka goes to face off against Weekend at a creepy church. Weekend uses several weapons in the church, and Ayaka is drained of her magic. Weekend summons a monster to capture Ayaka. Honoka is finally revived, and he learns about Weekend and her plans with the weapons. Another large explosion happens, and Hanoka hurries there. Honoka and Mikaje find Ayaka totally defeated, 